Welcome to a quick tour of the exciting new features in this release. We'll begin with the new hatch ribbon, which makes it easier to create and modify hatches and fills. Also new, you can now assign background colors to hatches, and you can quickly see hatch previews simply by moving your cursor over any enclosed area. It's also much easier to change the origin point of a hatch, in this case to line up the edge of the board with the edge of the deck. We've introduced a new property, Transparency, that you can set for layers, objects and blocks just like you would set the color property. Polylines now display multifunction grips with dynamic menus that you can use to quickly make changes to segments or vertices. You'll notice that we've redesigned the grid to look like graph paper. You can change the color of the grid lines. And as before, you can turn the grid on or off. For splines, there are several new options and controls. For example, you can easily add fit points or change the tangent direction of an endpoint. And you can quickly switch from viewing fit points to viewing control vertices. A new option for parametric drawing allows you to automatically infer geometric constraints as you draw. In this case, coincident, vertical, and perpendicular constraints. We've also enhanced the Parameters Manager. You can now create group filters to organize parameters into manageable groups. We've added several improvements to 3D Mesh and 3D Solid Modeling, but our major effort in this release has been to provide world-class surface modeling. You can create many different types of surfaces, including associative and NURB surfaces. You can fillet and trim surfaces, and run zebra, curvature, and draft angle analyses. The Materials Browser now provides convenient drag and drop access to a huge library of materials that are compatible across Autodesk products. These are just a few of the new features in this release. You'll find more information in the New Features Workshop and our many other online resources.